congratulations. Getting to know your body is a huge step, a, a, a premium, I mean, that's the beginning step of taking full responsibility for your health and wellness, which you're the only one that can do this. Hi, I'm Peter Minky. This is Minky Wellness. And we've been doing this exploration of getting in touch with the respiratory system and getting to know our lungs. And we did this yesterday. We're getting to know the tubes, the trachea, and the bronchioles, and getting down into the lung tissue and feeling the alveoli and all that. And so these are areas of the body that you think, man, I didn't, I didn't even study that back in school. That's okay. It's, we don't study anatomy and physiology, we live anatomy and physiology. So this is, this is who we are, We're, we are anatomy and physiology. So getting to know this, you know, looking at a few diagrams and getting to know this is a good thing. And that empowers us to make the right decisions and to, I think, it brings us into that right relationship of wonder, how wonderful we are, how amazing our bodies are, and, and therefore how amazing the Creator is who made this amazing body and so I just give thanks for all that we are and uh, encourage you to, to stick with this exploration this is a tough tough step this is the step that most people won't do they don't really want to get in touch with their body they don't really want to know what's going on let's just numb it out let's take a drug let's just ignore it because I can't deal with it and most people will say that because they don't have the knowledge the tools, the encouragement to take that step of responsibility and, and get to that wellness thing. So hopefully, what I'm, my goal is to provide that, that knowledge and that encouragement and that structure through this wellness program so that you and anyone you know can join this, uh, this Wellness 2017 and get more well at the end of this year than we are right now. Okay. So let's continue our, our exploration into the respiratory system. Just a little recap from yesterday that we breathed into the lung tissue, feeling the oxygen kind of penetrate all the way down into the alveoli, feeling that a gas exchange between the, the blood and the lungs and the air, so oxygen going in and going into the bloodstream, and then uh, carbon dioxide coming out of the blood. So we did all that left and right, feeling all those little tubes. We did down the center tube, the trachea, feeling the, the throat. So I want to offer uh, one more sort of extension in that. We're gonna go ahead and, and re re renew that breath so we kind of keep that fresh. But we also, we took our supplements today and I'm gonna invite those supplements which we know are running around in our bloodstream, invite those to come in and help build healthy lung tissue, help repair any kind of uh, uh, problems that are in there. And so that's that, that participate mentally consciously with the supplements that we're taking and invite those that those like I said they're in the bloodstream so now that we're making that connection to the bloodstream with the oxygen and carbon dioxide we're kind of at that interface now I'm going to actually invite the uh, the, the all the, the wonderful nutrients that we're bringing in to, uh, through the supplements into that are in the bloodstream into those lung tissue and help to build healthy lungs so let's go and breathe that uh, listening breath into the lungs again and you can, if, you're good, if you've gotten good at this, you can feel the whole lung at once. If you want to just go one side at a time, it's okay. Left first. Listening breath. Now some little uh, glowing, loving sparkles. And really fill down into all those little tubes as they branch and branch and branch and get down to the end point. Now I'm going to bring that sparkly oxygen into the blood. Still focusing on the left. Okay, and carbon dioxide coming out. Now, I'm going to invite again that blood to that's rich with all those wonderful nutrients to help build healthy lung tissue. Invite that in. That was the left. Now we'll do the right. Breathing in those uh, listening breath that sparkles. And feeling that oxygen, sparkly oxygen. And feeling that carbon dioxide come out. And inviting the nutrients in the bloodstream to build healthy lung on the right. Oh, it's great. I love that feeling. Okay, so 
getting these uh, these nutrients in and help to build up the lung tissue. That's that's really why we take uh, uh, supplements that's in, in that food that's in us and all the rest. So that's all there to help build healthy tissue. So we're going to invite that, and we're going to continue doing that throughout this course. Invite our food to participate in building healthy tissue. Invite our supplements to do that, and then we can in touch with our essential oils, and, and sometimes the essential oils can help us get in touch with that. So we're going to do now. Uh, we're going to do the upper respiratory system and breathe up into the sinuses. And this is an area, again, where a lot of people end up with a lot of uh, complications and maybe too much mucus or pressure or they're closed or whatever. So now we're going to uh, take a moment to breathe up and bring our awareness up into sinuses. And we do have a left and a right sinus. So we'll do that. And again, let me actually let me show you that little picture. It's not very revealing, but it's this cavity. And there's this palate here as we breathe in. The palate is very thin. Uh, and the air will come uh, uh, in the, if the, from the mouth, it'll come back and join the, no, the air from the nose. If we're breathing in through the nose, we've got this cavity here, and then there's actually little holes that go in and, and connect to the eustachian tubes and, and into the eyes and all the rest of that. So um, there is this sinus cavity. It's not, like I said, it's not very detailed up here, but it suffice to say that we've got a left and a right for the nose, and then that passage is all, all passes all the way down into the lungs. So this way, you can, if you wanted to close one nostril or another, you can. I'm just going to bring my attention uh, just to touch the left and kind of a Vulcan mind meld, right? Um, so here I am going to uh, touch the left area of my face where my sinuses are. Again, the sinuses will actually go all the way up. So a pressure here and so I'm breathing a listening breath up into the left. And, and just feeling, it, there's a heaviness in there. I don't know how to describe it. Just a, almost a metallic heaviness. And so I'm gonna breathe a, an action breath to kind of get, get a little lighter, get so maybe get things moving. Sparkly, lightness, fluffy. Okay, that's, uh, that's the left part of the sinuses. I'm starting to feel that as it comes back. It's like a warming, a warming sensation that comes back toward the ears. Uh, and now I'm going to do the right. Oh, much more clogged. It doesn't even open here. So if I have to, I'll, I'll actually kind of like that breathe right little thing. I'll go ahead and, and do a little pull to open up that, that airway. Hmm, definitely a lot more pressure. I actually feel a discomfort uh, and back here. So something's going on up here. And uh, what I might do now is, uh, again, reach for my essential oil. I've got a Young Living Myrtle oil as part of what we uh, uh, had for the month. And I'm going to use a couple drops of Myrtle oil to get that uh, more intense. The reason I'm, I'm choosing Myrtle is, it, for me, it's a, it's a little more gentle than the RC we used yesterday. Uh, it's still going to give me a tingle, but it's not going to, you know, choke me out. Um, and so I'm going to do that. Yeah, to me, a lot more gentle and gives me that sensation, a tingle, uh, up into the sinuses so I kind of have a better awareness of what's going on. So that's how I can use the oil. You know, if you didn't buy the the, the extra oils, the RC and the, and the, and the um, uh, Myrtle, and you still have the Loris Noblis, so you could still do uh, you know, inhalation with those oils. Um, I realize that that the vitality label and the non-vitality label starts to get a little bit confusing when we're talking about inhaling an oil. But uh, anyway, so that's why we're using the myrtle oil and inhaling up into the sinuses here. So it's a, it's a, uh, it gives me that increased awareness. Now I'm going to use action breath to open up and, and revitalize the whole sinus area and on the exhale, I'm going to allow some pulling out, maybe some grunge that needs to cleanse out of here. Inhale, vital vitality. Exhale. And feel drainage. Maybe let it drain out. Feel that drainage come down. Actually, I'm starting to get drainage. So um, that can happen. 
and, and that's how we know we're actually doing something. You can start to feel effects. You, you actually get, uh, you know, sometimes some movement can come to start. The mucus starts to move. The drainage starts to come. And, and we know it's like, is that really possible that just this breathing consciousness thing is actually working? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Uh, and when we get to some of this uh, stuff in the lymphatic system next month, you're going to be amazed at how, how quickly you can actually stimulate the lymphatic system with conscious breath and you'll have to go to the bathroom because you'll be like, oh my gosh, I'm really moving this stuff through. Okay, so the the breath awareness here, I wanted to just go, to, we've got a few minutes and, and realize that we're only scratching the surface of the respiratory system. There's a lot more to do and talk about. We're gonna go and do some cleansing breaths and and, uh, and, and a couple, three, uh, two, next week, not next week, the week after. Um, but, but there's also the pleura, so as we go from the lungs Outside the lungs, there's the a space between the lungs and the rib cage, and that's the pleura. There's also the space around the heart, the where the lung interacts with the heart. And I'm just going to just do a couple breaths to pay attention to those because those are areas. As we do our massage next week, we're going to start to kind of feel maybe I feel that where that is caught or cat, you know, catching uh, and adhesed and stuff like that. So we're going to just spend a moment here with that. So inhaling into the lungs, but then use your awareness to go past, just past the lungs and up against the actual ribs. So you're in the pleura at that point. So feeling that layer on the outside of the lungs in the pleura, right up against the rib. Again, you're just using your imagination to try to engage that awareness. And breathe to the front and to the back. And again, you're one step. You're not in the lung. You're you're outside that lung. In in the consciousness is engaged in the pleura. Now, breathe into around the heart, and kind of give your heart a hug with your lung, with your, especially your left lung. But but the right lung participates in that too. So, kind of hug your heart with your lungs, and that can give you another awareness. We'll get we'll. We'll breathe into the heart and, and, and that next, uh, I think it is next month with the circulatory system. Okay, so this is part of what we are doing here to bring that awareness and the breathing I find to be extremely powerful for this. So I hope this has been, uh, I know it might be a little bit weird, I know that. But if you work with me on this and, and work, try it and play with it just a little bit, I think you'll find that this will have an impact. I had the, I was giving a talk to a group and I was telling people to breathe into their left foot and their right foot and this old guy um, raised his hand at the end and he said, man, when you said to breathe into my foot, I thought you were crazy. And I thought, oh boy, here it comes. And he said, but I've had problems with feeling my feet. I can't feel my feet and I can now feel my feet for the first time in six years just from this awareness of breathing down. And so, I've had I've had amazing things happen just with one and two breaths of someone bringing their consciousness. So I encourage you to keep up with this. I know it's a little bit strange right now, but when you get through this and you start getting better at this, you'll find that it's a powerful, powerful tool to engage and find out how you're doing. And then you don't have to, you know, you don't have to rely on on outside sources so much. You might still need, of course, you know, get a blood test, sure, but you'll have a much better idea of what's going on in your body if you can get good at doing this breathing. Um, and again, at the very worst, it, it, none of this matters. And we haven't, we've been fooling ourselves that all this mental stuff helps, but we've actually been doing deeper breathing, which is good, we're getting more oxygen. But I do believe the consciousness helps, I've experienced it. So um, thanks for hanging in here. We're going to, um, uh, next week get into massage and loosening so we can get deeper breath we need to engage a little bit more with that uh, so join me then and uh, we'll do a summary video for the week and we'll see you next time happy wellness